Hello, everyone, and welcome to GameSpot 2014 coverage. I'm Tom McShay, and this is Kevin Van Nord right beside me. Kevin, you played the strangest cooking sim on the show floor. It's called Grey Goo, and it is a simulation of your own experience in the kitchen. Can you just tell us a little bit about well, this? Well, you see, my refrigerator is covered with this <laughs> stuff inside, and I call it the Grey Goo oh, because Lord. it's sort of no, it's seriously. Chinese food and milk. Yeah. So, so I, it's actually a, ro a real time strategy game, RTS, for yes. the kids. <laughs> uh, so, it, yes, it is. And it's yeah. coming from Petroglyph, the people uh, well known for games like Universe at War and Star Wars Empire at War. So, they know their RTSs and they're trying to get back to the sort of old school RTS. Back, back in the days when there were lots of games that were building on the Age of Empires formula and on Command and Conquer and on and on StarCraft and so on and so forth. So this is a game that really harks back to those days. And so you've got three different factions, and one of them is human, one of them is beta, and one of them is called the goo. It's called gr the gray goo, and that's where the title comes from. Now, in, in science fiction parlance, gray goo is basically what happens when nanobots, like, just you know, take over the the world basically, and so everything turns into the gray goo. It's the after effect of Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare. Yes, sort of. Okay. Yes, um, and and so one of the factions, and this is the faction that I played today in the playable demo, was I played as the goo because okay. I'd never really played anything like that. And the goo is a faction that does not have a base, so all of the units that you create comes from this big blob of goo that you can take around and to collect resources you take their big thing of goo and go over top of the resource and you immediately collect them. You don't have to send out a unit to collect resources for you. You just take your, think of the goo as maybe like a mobile base, but eventually the goo, you split the goo. So you can split the goo and then more- There's so many euphemisms going on right I now. I know, right? But you split the goo and then you can turn it into different units and they can be, you know, they can be flying units, they can be ground units. Um, and then you can also create more goos, like and you can it. also like sort of upgrade using a using a tech tree um, as well. And all of that stuff t um, costs you the same resources that you're collecting on the map. But there's no base building when you play yeah. as the goo, and it's really interesting because the goo also, besides being sort of your mobile base where everything comes from, the goo is also its its own attack unit. Like if you order it to cross units, like it will just it will just suck them up and dissolve them. It's really cool to watch. Um, so I had a lot of fun. Like I just played against the AI. I had eventually, like I had two base, like I had two main goo units, like the mother goo, as I think what they actually call it. And so I'm taking my mother, one mother goo around, like collecting resources, and then splitting off units. And I'm using the other goo as like an attack unit and for upgrades and stuff. And so I'm taking it around and just like dissolving units. And it was it was actually a lot of fun. And the game has a really good sci-fi look to it. You know, I like the way the, the beta looks. The beta faction is, is really cool to look at too. And even the humans. Now nobody wants to play. Humans are so boring. But humans in this game look really interesting. They're sort of your, uh, your turtling faction. So if you're into like staying at the base and being defensive, you're human. If you kind of want to split you know, between being aggressive and defensive, you play as the beta. And if you're totally aggressive, you play as the goo and you just uh, like, just get in there. You start moving, you, you can try to rush. Although you have to be careful because if you're, you know, like it might be tempting to try to like zerg the goo, if that's a thing, I guess I could say. But if you try to zerg rush with your, your initial piece of goo, you're gonna be in trouble because that's your own only means of collecting resources. That's the only thing you have when you start the game. So is, uh, it might be tempting to try to just send that goo out there, but okay. it's probably not necessarily gonna function um, if you try to do that, because that, that thing's just, that's, let's see, your only thing. You've got, everything comes from the goo. Okay. Mm. Well, thank you very much for giving us all of the information. Remember that goo. advice, everything comes from the goo. Uh, yeah, keep watching GameSpot, yeah. where we promise not to talk about goo in the future.